think I found a purpose for this mirror tile. <laughs> getting getting super excited <laughs> oh, they are excited about this mirror as I am <laughs> are you all right are you all right it's all good it's all good relax calm down relax from a drive to lately um, had a nice walk with the dogs over there in the park and the car had 38% state of charge when I came back. While I was parking over there, I hadn't got any loss of capacity or recalculation at all. Um, due to the fact we were there only for a little bit over an hour, maybe an hour 15 or so. And then we went back home. So 38%. I'm going to wash the car later on, but I plugged it in now. 15 amp settings directly plug in again before the loss of capacity is happening it is charging with 120 watts only so 120 watts let's see if i can um, pick up live data here oh 42 percent already plus one amp since last usage this is the one amp it has already charged in since we came home. All right, and we have a look at the Sonoff. See, it's charging with 70 watts only at the moment. It does another pre-balancing. It's the same process again, and it's the 15 amp setting again. So I think we are seeing a pattern here when we charge at the maximum available speed for the car with 15 amps. We will have a pre-balancing right at the beginning of the um, charging cycle. It is charging full speed for the first couple of minutes, but after about four or five minutes, it will drop down to only 70 watts and it will stay there for about 20 minutes and then we get full power until the end until it slows down at about 85 90 percent the charging power slows down again very interesting stuff i'm i'm also not intending to charge the car fully so i leave it plugged in for an hour and then wash it and put it back in the car port and then we measure and note the state of charge of the battery and i want to see i think when i recharge partly only after a drive i don't lose capacity it it i think it is the opposite then we will gain capacity or the the bmu software calculates more capacity after a partly recharge of the car and this is this is just another thing with the software it's it's a thing um which doesn't make sense it it should not it should not do that it should not calculate more or less capacity depending if you leave the car there uncharged or if you charge it partly again it is just just not consistent and um doesn't make much sense it should not make a difference if we partly charge the car, partly discharge the car. It should not make the difference when we fully charge it from any level at all. The software, the software is supposed to be consistent with their calculations. But um, as we all know, it isn't. So my Dear friends and fellow PHEV drivers, it is 8 o'clock, 8 p.m., four hours 
four hours ago um, I washed the car and left it with 73.9% uh, state of charge. Now four hours later we will turn it on and see what the state of charge is. Okay, here we go. Plus 11.2 amps. Okay, <laughs> that was a total fail. <laughs> that was a total fail. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was including charging now. <laughs> It was 73.9% and we are now on 75.2. So, um, okay, let's, let's drive this baby in the carport. 75.2. Ha <clears throat> <laughs> And we've got light. <laughs> okay. So, um, 75.2%, 3.1 hour at 8 p.m. Let's do a quick maths. 0 0.4 hours plus, I should make this really, really big in four hours. Okay, there you have it. Four hours parking, battery level has risen 1.3% or 0 0.4 ampere hours. Okay, we have, we've got a gain of capacity, a gain of state of charge while parking. But only because I charged the car only partly. So here's, here's a quick summary of what happened. We, we drove to lately this morning, went for um, a walk with the dogs, went back home and we didn't lose any energy in between while we parked over there at the park, parked at the park. And then I charged the car to 70, 74% and stopped it. I didn't charge it fully. I washed the car and left it there for four hours sitting outside. And when I turned it on, we had plus 1.3%, plus 0 0.4 ampere hours within four hours of parking time. Okay, this is because I didn't fully charge it. Okay, I'll, um, this is um, against all my expectations now, because if, if it is true what's being said in on the forums now that the high volume cells which we use in the PHEV need a certain amount of time to to get the charge away from the electrodes into the material and this is basically what you see when you fully charge the car and leave it then there for a couple of hours the charge drops not the charge but the um the state of charge drops because the the charge inside the cell is equalizing in the material and it's not sticking around the um, electrodes anymore and apparently this only happens to this high volume this this higher these these bigger battery cells we have here oh this is creepy light now it it doesn't it doesn't happen to um cells like uh, Tesla uses these um, AAA batteries they are using. <laughs> the 18, 9, 20, I, I don't know, it's 18 whatever they're using. Yeah, because they are, they are smaller volume batteries and these ones are really thick and it needs some time to equalize the charge throughout the material inside the cell. But if, if, if this is true, this doesn't make sense. Because we had the charge over here and it should it should take some time as well for the charge to equalize throughout the cell and this would cause a drop in state of charge after the parking time but it hasn't there was a gain so how do we explain that how do we explain the gain of charge while parking if I don't charge the car fully 
I have no idea. I probably need to do more more testing about this. Um, but you know, in the meanwhile, I'll leave this question with you because we really have some battery experts now in the community. And so I would like to ask this question to you guys out there. Why do we gain state of charge while the car is parked when we are not fully charged the car? While if I fully charge the car, we would have a loss. You have seen my 621 videos before when I lost charge while parking. So why hasn't it happened right now? All right. So far, um, guys, another another problem to solve. <laughs> okay, guys, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. And we see you guys in the next video. You stay charged and balanced. Bye-bye. <laughs>